Since 1890, the Idaho Supreme Court has stood as a symbol of honor and authority as the last resort for all people seeking justice. Providing equal access to justice, promoting excellence in service, and increasing the public's trust and confidence in the Idaho court system are key to the leaders of today's Idaho Supreme Court. The clerk's job is essentially the coordinator of kind of mission control for the Supreme Court. We, uh, we handle all the appeals, everything that comes in, we prepare everything and get ready for, uh, for the Supreme Court to, to hear oral argument on cases, uh, which, which deals with getting all the appeals from the district courts uh, from the administrative agencies like the Industrial Commission, the Tax Commission, and these, uh, assembling them, making sure they're in compliance with all the rules, and preparing them for, for the justices, and, uh, and then preparing for oral argument, preparing the court, the schedules, the calendars, and, uh, and then attending oral ar argument. They have a 30 minutes per side for the oral argument, and it's got a countdown timer limiting them to exactly uh, 30 minutes each. Right now it takes about, on average for a case to go through the Supreme Court, it takes about two years. It takes about a year and a half for the cases to go through Ida the Idaho Court of Appeals. And the Idaho Supreme Court is one of the only courts in the country that travels around the state to have oral arguments. Most of the oral arguments are in Boise, but they do travel to Lewiston, Moscow, Coeur d'Alene, Twin Falls, Idaho Falls, and Pocatello. Right now, the Supreme Court, they hear 135 oral arguments a year. Uh, we have a total of about 1,200 appeals filed a year. Of those 1,200, about 20 to 30 percent eventually fall off or get dismissed before they're assigned to either the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeals. Since the primary judicial work of the Idaho Supreme Court consists of hearing appeals and motions, procedures in the Supreme Court are much different from those of trial courts. The difference between the Idaho State Supreme Court and trial courts is something that very few people really understand, nor do they uh, understand the impact of that when they do file an appeal. Uh, an appellate court, which the Idaho Supreme Court and Court of Appeals are, does not retry your case. You don't get a chance to start from zero in front of an appellate court. An appellate court is a very formulistic, narrow analysis of the law which was applied to the facts found by the trial court. You don't have to have an attorney to file an appeal in the Idaho State Supreme Court. In fact, a year or two ago, a man brought a workman's compensation case before the court and won. And we sent the case back to the Industrial Commission for further proceedings so that he could get benefits. We divide our cases up into among the five um, justices. They are not assigned, they are picked randomly, and then we set the matter for oral argument uh, before all five justices. The oral argument is used to clarify things. We can ask clarifying questions. We can ask questions about public policy or what is the impact this, in, this argument would have on another statute or another case. Those types of broad range of questions so that we understand what may happen if we rule a certain way. We have three cases, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, the first two weeks of every month. And then during that time period, immediately following those three cases, we will go back into uh, Chambers, uh, Chief Justice's conference room, and there we discuss those three cases while it's fresh in our mind and everybody is up to speed as much as possible. Then the person who is Preparing the uh, pre-hearing memorandum goes to their chambers and puts out a final decision that is then circulated among all the justices. S changes are suggested, uh, gram grammatical errors or inappropriate uh, uh, English phrasing uh, are reviewed and finally that case is printed and sent out as law so that the citizens can understand the law they can use that case in their personal and professional dealings, and they can have a pretty good understanding of what the law is in Idaho. My favorite thing about working with the Idaho State Supreme Court, actually it's two things. One, working with the other justices. Um, they are so experienced and bring such a broad range of experience to the analysis of 
Idaho statutes, constitution, and case law that is very, very interesting. It's also, they're just wonderful human beings. They work very hard, uh, they're bright, they're articulate. It's just wonderful to work with them. And then our support staff in this building, the people that help us, that's another thing that I truly enjoy there. All of them, highly motivated, work real hard. And then secondly, I enjoy working with the law in terms of, of uh, trying to make sure people can understand it or clarifying older cases so that they fit modern, uh, modern mores or modern uh, business practices. Uh, it's, it's just been a highlight of my life to work here. Thank you.